We had this gospel um, not too long ago in our Easter season. And uh, one of the points we brought out then, which was good to remind ourselves now, is we looked at how you know, poor Thomas was always called Doubting Thomas. That's his nickname, Doubting Thomas. But as we read closely in the scriptures and look at the, the words, um, especially in the Greek, it's, he's not actually doubting. <laughs> he's not actually doubting. That he's unbelieving. And there's a, there a difference between the two. Doubting is basically an uncertainty. I'm not sure that's true. Could be true, but I'm just not sure. I'm doubting the certainty of that truth. Unbelieving is a, is a willful refusal to believe. I choose not to believe that. You know, and so we talked about what Thomas is really doing. He's not being doubting Thomas. He's not uncertain that Jesus exists or that Jesus was nailed to the cross. He's not uncertain. I'm not sure if he really was raised from the dead, even though you guys say you saw him. You know, Thomas is, is willfully, he says, I will not believe. He's unbelieving. We talked about he's not being a doubting Thomas. He's being Thomas the spiritual brat. <laughs> You ever been a spiritual brat? No. <laughs> he's, he's, he's being a spiritual brat. He's choosing not to believe because he's hurting inside. Because his friend, his mentor, his master, the one he loves has died. And he's sad. He's grieving. And he wants to see Jesus too. Right? If Jesus is raised from the dead, well, why didn't he appear to me? It's like he appeared to Peter. Or like he appeared to you guys. I'm not going to believe it until he appears to me. I want to see him. Thomas the spiritual brat. And we can look in, uh, and look at what, what, are the, how, you know, what are the times that we have been. There's times when we are doubting. We're not sure if something is true or we're wrestling with a belief. We're trying to dig in and get more details, more information, more background. But there's also times when we're just purely a spiritual brat. No, Lord, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you know? What about um, <clears throat> when we take, if we take this and relate it to what we've been talking about in regards to going back to the basics as disciples of Jesus and simply doing what Jesus did and saying what Jesus said. Proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ in his, in his words and with his deeds. So announcing God's kingdom is here. Repent, change your life, and believe that good news with the actions of your life. Or proclaiming that gospel of Jesus Christ with his deeds. As we pray for people and ask God to cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons, Asking God to fill every place we enter with his peace. Or do we doubt that God can still, that he still does those things today? Or are we unbelieving? Do we refuse to believe that he still does all those things today? Until, do we, are we refusing to believe it unless we see it with our eyes? Do we doubt that God can do those things and wants to do those things through you and through me? Oh my gosh, that he might want us to pray for somebody and he might want to cure the sick, cure people of every disease and illness. That he might want to raise the dead through you and your prayers. How do you feel about that possibility? Do you doubt, are you uncertain I'm not sure if God will do that through me and my prayers. Or do you refuse to believe it? Like a stubborn, willful refusal to believe it. I won't believe he wants to do that until I see it. Where do you stand? Doubting, unbelieving, in regards to simply doing what Jesus asks us, asks us to do. Those basics. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> he looks at you and me, says the same thing he said to Thomas, blessed are those who have not seen, but have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, 
people being prayed over and they were cured of every disease and illness, or they were, they were raised from the dead, or that God, they, seeing in a, manif- in a powerful manifestation God's peace coming into a place. Blessed are those who still choose to believe with the actions of their lives, even though they have not seen. Meaning, blessed are you and me when we still choose to pray for people, even though maybe you and I have never seen somebody been cured of a disease or an illness, especially like cancer. Or blessed are you and me when we pray for somebody to be raised from the dead, even though maybe we've never seen somebody being raised from the dead. Blessed are you and me when we pray and ask God to heal somebody, to cleanse them, to free them from demonic influence or demonic possession, even though maybe you and I have never seen somebody being freed. Maybe you and I have never seen a successful exorcism. But we choose to believe anyway with the actions of our lives and to pray for that. That's what God is asking us to do to believe with the actions of our lives, to pray anyway, even though we maybe have never seen it happen yet. Because you never know when he's ready to manifest his glory and his presence in those ways through our life if we take that step of faith, that risk, and pray and believe even though we have not yet seen.